Good evening and welcome to The Wrap. I'm your host, Jillian Reed. Jill! Are tonight? You said you were going to start without me. Landon, um, I was just warming up the camera for you. Carter texted me. He said you guys were starting. You told him? Uh, no, I... Good evening and welcome to The Wrap. I'm your host, Jillian Co Reed. Co-host. Co-host, Jillian Reed. And I'm your co-host, Landon Alice, and we welcome you to WRA's premier late-night talk and sketch comedy show, The Wrap. Here at The Wrap, we're dedicated to bringing you stories of community, happiness, athleticism, and for the third year in a row, diversity. Landon, you're not going to use that picture of me, are you? No, we're definitely using that picture. There are so many things wrong with that photo. You can quite obviously see that things are a little bit different here at The Wrap. Uh, for one, after a long battle of discrimination lawsuit, we have our first female co-host this year. Congrats on that, Jill. We are also completely filmed this year, which means that we had to lose the audience that understood 40% of all of our jokes. We also have a musical guest this year. So buckle up and get ready, and here are tonight's top stories. Having to adjust to new normal of social distancing and masks has been tough, making us lose beloved friends like myself to online learning. You know, even though things have been a little weird, a lot of great things have come from this. Like what? Um, oh, well, the Livingston's got several D1 offers for colleges. I mean, that's going to be so great for the school, right? I mean, I Jill, think that that's... they don't go here anymore. Uh, Freshmen don't know who those guys are. <laughs> yeah, no, I knew that. Um, but what about the musical? Oh my god, the musical's going to be so much fun. Jill, I've been looking forward to that. That might not even happen this year. <laughs> okay, um, well, classes. Oh my gosh, I love my classes. Jill, classes are going to change in like three weeks. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god, this is so miserable. I'm never gonna be on Broadway! Joe, you've forgotten Reserve's hidden treasure and something that we never would have had if it weren't for all of this. Taylor Harper's tree climbing skills? No, the luck struck. After deciding what house only needed one shower curtain upstairs this year, the administration approved the purchase of a very bright and flashy and expensive food truck this year. It'll be a staple on campus for a year to come. And that's not the only thing that's new. WRA welcomed the addition of nine new teachers. Our new teachers are great, but that really raises a big question. Why did nine people leave to begin with? That's right, Jill, nine new teachers. The language department seems to have a new theme of hiring in the family this year with the hiring of Mr. Julian Kelly Lopez and Mr. Max Borman. So keep an eye out for next year's new Latin teacher, Nora Namioka. Reserve has continued to grow and modify more than ever, but we're still sticking to our roots. In fact, at orientation, we all had the opportunity to learn more about our campus and all that it came from. We even found out that the WRA archives, where a senior citizen has devoted his life to tracking our every move in the basement of the library. Reserve is truly a place where anything is possible. I mean, like, imagine another school where Rocco would be the student body president. And now on to sports! This year, the football team is led by third-year Supreme Leader James Moynihan. On to the more important sports, George Kegler is going to be the very first eSport player to receive a captain sweater. We are holding a coronation ceremony next Friday for close friends and family for Reserve's most valued athlete. We saw the hiring of Mr. Dylan Sheridan as the lacrosse head coach. Some question this decision of hiring, though, after former head coach Connor Pollock had an unmatched, undefeated career. Speaking of lacrosse, we saw the addition of many new recruits for the lacrosse team, sending WRA's Niche.com rankings plummeting yet again. That's right, Jill, there's new recruits everywhere. I'm having trouble, though, like, figuring out which one is which. Like, every one of them looks like some variation of either the mayor of Whoville or Jesus himself. Let's move on to the social aspect, shall we? At Preserve, you not only learn about grammar and Adam Yankai's unhealthy obsession with Michael Franti, but you also make connections with others and experience firsthand the emotions of love and heartbreak. Yes, relationships are almost bound to happen in your time here, so here to talk about relationships is our love expert, Jeffrey Kraft. I can still remember the day. It was a cold October 4th. The wind was an omen of the treachery to come. My current girlfriend at the time. We were on and off for about four months. I said I liked her. She said she liked me back. And then we started dating, just as a normal relationship goes. She was a good girl. Maybe even possibly the love of my life, or so I thought at the time. So one day, October 4th, we decided to go to 
Barlow Park. Nice day. It, it was a picnic. So I drove there with my mom. And when we got there, we played around for a bit. It was, it was very nice. And then I go hang out with my friends for a minute, right? In the playground. Just talking. Hanging around. And then I come back to see. There she was with Brady Smith. Brady fucking Brady Smith. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. So this year, we saw an addition of new clubs here at Reserve. One interesting club that was added to the list was Reserve Locker, a club that explores the different outfits and styles of Western Reserve Academy. But nothing will ever top the utter swagger that is exuded in this marvelous, sexy outfit right here. In other news, COVID-19 hit the world hard. The virus hit even close to home, with Dr. Nicholas Kent being diagnosed in October. Too bad he didn't just wear his mask correctly. That's it for our pre-recorded lines. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back after this message. Hi. Welcome to Western Reserve Academy, a private boarding high school located in Hudson, Ohio. Due to COVID, our tours have been limited, so please enjoy this virtual tour showing you the real nooks and crannies of our school, Western Reserve Academy. See these beautiful banners that are falling down? None of them are true. Rumor has it, if you step on this seal here, you don't graduate. It doesn't look big enough for all of the class of 2020, but they still all managed to not graduate. I'll take you over here. This is the piano. We are in the athletic center, but if you're not an athlete, you come over to the piano, like my friend Logan here. trophy cases. As you can see, we haven't won anything since 2002. Hi, this is our training room, and if you don't want to go to practice, just fake an injury. Welcome to the wrestling room. We've got a lot of uh, inspirational posters up here. My favorite happens to be loose and aggressive, because that's what they call me in the end. <laughs> hey, run it. Hmm? Oh, uh, this is my dorm, uh, the A. Uh, fun fact about the A is it actually stands for um, the the anth uh, the atham come on come on uh, the athen athenay that's my come on. This is Hobart, our quarantine dorm. Here at Western Reserve Academy, we are giving world-class attention to make sure that those who are affected by the virus get the love and care that they need for a stable recovery. <coughs> Hey! Oh, oh, God! God. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. This fall, Reserve installed these signs so you can cross the street safer. They work with the simple press of a button. Ah! We've now arrived at Seymour Hall the centerpiece on campus in our main academic building. Let's take a look inside. We'll go around. Welcome to CAFA, CAFAC, where um, our resident fine arts center, and here you'll find Jill Grief. Make a way to class on Seymour Hall, the old school building, three floors tall. These are the moments that Jill, make room. it's midnight. We talked about this. You cannot be singing in here at midnight. Sorry, Mr. Hall. I'll go. These are some of our alumni. You'd think they graduated. Why are they still here? 
they always stick around and technically this is the class of 2020 they didn't graduate western reserve academy can you play lacrosse hello and welcome back here at western reserve academy we have a lot of coaches for a lot of different sports first up today we will be looking at director and supreme overlord of athletics and head boys soccer coach mr herb haller hello my name is herb haller and i'm the director of athletics and uh, afternoon activities i'm also the head boys soccer coach soccer is my love and my passion but i uh I treat all sports equally. Hello ladies, uh, before we get started today, I want everybody to know that I made protein power balls for the reception. The game of soccer was originally started in the dead terrain in England, and that's very different from the game that's played near the Southern Hemisphere. never coached tennis before or picked up a racket. I try to focus on making practice nice and easy. What's up guys? Just got a fresh fit from Lou Lemon. Um, here I am, Thomas Hemsall, girls basketball coach. Don't you coach boys basketball? We don't talk about that. Next up, we have rivalry head coach, Mr. Dick and Ong. Hello, I'm Dick and Ong head coach of the Rifle team and faculty member of the history department. The word easy is not in my vocabulary. As I coach the hardest sport at Reserve and teach the most challenging classes here at Western Reserve Academy. You know, WRA was actually founded in 1826. The he went on to talk for 12 more minutes. We had to cut him off. Coming up next, we have the newest head coach here at Western Reserve Academy, head coach of baseball, Mr. Jordan Shriver. Hi, I'm Coach Shriver. I coach baseball here at Reserve. It's my fourth year here, and I still get wonderful questions like, who are you, and do you even work here? It's all part of the job. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, the head coach of the lacrosse team. What's up? I'm CJ Pollock, head coach of the lacrosse team. You know you're uh, not coach anymore, CJ. Son of a b Hey, I'm um, Coach Moynihan. Uh, this is my third year as head coach of the football team. Also, uh, I was sitting in a room watching film one day, and some kids went in and wanted to learn Latin. Honestly, I uh, don't even know Latin. I just had so much free time that I said yes. Is that good? Okay, good deal. Hello and welcome back. I'm Landon Alice. And I'm Jillian Reeves. And tonight we have some musical entertainment for you from Mr. Matthew Hernandez. Thank you for being here, Matthew. Uh, what's Matthew playing again? Um. That is right, Matthew will be playing a piece from Beethoven. Ladies and gentlemen, from the class of 2023, my class, Mr. Matthew Hernandez. Carter does comedy.
Still tailwind and in jail, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so how are we all doing tonight? My name's Carter. Uh, I'm Gunner. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> uh, so, so... Uh, Trump... No, no, hey, can't say that. No, okay. Uh, yeah. So... Epstein... No, 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 no. Nope. Nope. Uh, try something else then. Um, okay. Yatsamash, my name is Borat. I hate one group and that group. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so. So the, the deans uh, are popular lately, yeah? yeah. Uh, so I, I interviewed some people about the deans, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the deans aren't really uh, well liked throughout the WRA community, okay? And so the deans are so. This year, WRA welcomed some new recruits from all across the globe. And, um. Hey, real quick, do you think you're doing a monologue right now? That already happened. You didn't get picked to be the host. Your brother handed the show to Landon, not you. Okay, everyone likes the new WRA recruits, you know, Cal, Cal, uh, uh, yeah, uh, so, <laughs> you know, it's their first year here, and I've been here three years, so I don't really know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Hey, hey, you gotta finish, bud. That's what she said. <laughs> what you talk, Landon and Jill? Yeah! This has been Carter Does Comedy. You know, like, I'm glad that Gunnar's part of this this year, but at the same time, like, it was kind of nice last year when he was just a writer and got the credit for it and didn't actually write anything. Like, I know. He's not that good of an actor. I didn't even want him here. I just felt bad because Shark beat him up last year. I know. Uh, that was funny. Everybody was watching the walk around. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the... What is he doing over there? Why does he look like he's about to go cry? Cry about Go cry to Moynihan again! Stop it! Okay, well, it's Friday night, um, do you want to go to the Green Key, or, no? Okay, do you want to hang out at, no? Okay.
Hi, Mrs. Buck. I've got a lot of good ideas oh my gosh. how I can improve the school with you here. Have a seat. All right. So I've got a spreadsheet here. Gunnar, I, I wouldn't even bother. You're not going to be a student here much longer. This is your last half hour here at Reserve. Um, I'm only a junior, and it is... It is uh, November, so. I know, but Gunnar, I'm, I'm kicking you out. As of now, you're no longer a student at Reserve. Oh, do you, do you have any reasons? No, well, I just don't like you. And you know, you know I, I, I am someone who likes everybody, but yeah. I just don't like you and you, your sneakers. Uh, okay. Um, been a great week. Uh, all right, I'll start packing. Cool. Thank you for your time. Yay! Woohoo! <coughs> Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate everything that I've done to make this a great show. We would also like to thank our uh, advisors, Mrs. Ong and Mr. Davies for all the work that they've helped us with. We'd like to thank Mrs. Buck for being a part of this. We couldn't have done it without her. We would like to thank Miss Donnelly for letting us use her phone tripod. This is how we filmed like the entire show and for letting us use her classroom. We'd also like to say sorry, Gunner, for getting kicked out. But at the same time, thank you, Gunner, for editing this entire show. You've complained to me the entire time. I said I'd help you, but you know, like, you didn't let me. But at least we're still friends, and that's okay, what matters okay, in okay. the end. Thank you so much, Mr. Gerber, for making this wonderful sign for us. And thank you to our writers and actors that have really gave their all to make this the best show that we could possibly make. We couldn't have done it without you guys. I'm Landon Alice. And I'm Julian Reeve. And, and that's, that's a wrap! wrap.